times, the whole Led Zeppelin tour. I mean, you played, what was it, two dates on that tour and before you were unceremoniously dumped whilst you were on stage, you were told to get off yes. and get out of there. What, what happened yeah. with that one? Well, the first night we were at the uh, public auditorium in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, the people were loving it. They, we have played, I mean, at this time in our lives, we played in Cleveland doing the upbeat show uh, which was a television show that was a regional show. So it wasn't just the, in Cleveland. This this was, uh, it went to over as far as Chicago and and over to New York and and uh, so Pennsylvania, it, it got around. And uh, the people that showed up at that concert, a lot of them were our fans just from us playing around that area. And they loved it. And they loved that we were there opening you know, for Led Zeppelin and that that it's going to be a good energized concert. And I'm telling you, it was energized. Wow, was that energized in Cleveland. The following night in Detroit at Olympia, another big, massive crowd. Uh, we're on stage tearing it up and the people were loving their hometown band. Here they are opening for Led Zeppelin, this big band. Uh, and Peter Grant, the manager uh, for Zeppelin, came out and told our manager, Terry Knight, to pull the plug, get him off the stage, he says, or I'm going to pull the plug, get him off, because we had the crowd up. Brother, I'm talking, they were with us a hundred percent and we were fixing to go into inside looking out and that would have just brought the house down there'd be no way you could follow that song there was hardly a way for them to follow us even the way we left it and half of the auditorium had emptied out and there was only half the people that you know it was sold out and then uh after an hour and a half after we got off the stage, Terry came out and said, uh, because of contractual obligations, uh, Grand Funk has to leave the stage. And, oh, man, the people were booing, hissing, throwing wine bottles, beer bottles, whiskey bottles. Oh, my God. Uh, they didn't want us to leave. And, I, and we didn't want to, but we, they pulled our plug and we had nothing left. Drummer, he, you know, he, he was the only one you could hear but you couldn't hear him very good because uh, the power was gone. So when we went off the stage, uh, the fans were disappointed, disgruntled fans. And, uh, but it did give some space for Mel, the bass player and myself to go out into the audience and set at the center of the auditorium about midway. We were just behind mm -hmm. the people in front of us. So we watched Zeppelin, and uh, Jimmy Page got his his bow out for his uh, viola or, or whatever he played, that big bow he had. And he was playing his guitar like a, a violin. And I thought, this is pretty, this is pretty good. You know, it sounded pretty good. And But they didn't have the uh, excitement factor that we had. Wow. So what did you think after that then? I mean, you, you've been taken off for, for being too good. I mean, did that give you guys a boost in confidence, thinking that you, you, you're too good for this level or you, you should be up there? Or, or how did that feel? It felt like we were doing what we needed to be doing. This is what we were supposed to have been doing. Yeah. People's band. That's it. That's it indeed. And did you ever meet up with Zeppelin again? Was this ever discussed? Did you ever see Peter Grant again or, or any of the guys from yes. the band? Never saw them again. <laughs> wow. <laughs>